Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through Daily Crypto News and Analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Hedera, aka HBAR, as you all are aware. Um, we're going to be talking about a lot of things, so sit back, relax, and before we fully jump on into this video, if you guys could please leave a like on this video, it does help the channel grow immensely. Also, hit that subscribe button if you guys have learned something new from this channel uh, at all. Maybe you guys are new to the channel. If you guys learned something throughout this video, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as it does help the channel grow immensely, and I do greatly appreciate it. Now, let's talk about, real quick, the market overall you know, sentiment. So, you know, I am a little bit... You know, bearish on altcoins just a little bit in the micro viewpoints. Like, I th I think that we could come down a little bit lower on a lot of these altcoins currently. Um, I've always said in terms of, you know, Hedera, we could see about 22 to about like 26 cents around that area. We're currently at that point, which tells me that we'll most likely come down a little bit lower, most likely. You can pretty much see the lows that we pretty currently, the lowest point that we were at on the 24 hour span was about 25 and a half cents. Trading volume is still down. I think that right now, a lot of focus shouldn't be on altcoins in general. Uh, we should be watching Bitcoin closely. If you guys are trying to day trade, maybe you're trying to get into another position on an altcoin. Yeah, watch Bitcoin because right now Bitcoin dominance is rising. And if Bitcoin does kind of go up in price, it will still push altcoins down uh, because a lot of the dominance is on Bitcoin currently. And once Bitcoin dominance is kind of skyrocketing with Bitcoin as it's rising, once we see a rejection on Bitcoin and once we come down, while Bitcoin dominance is still fairly high, we will see altcoins take a huge hit. So please pay attention and please focus up because right now is a detriment time to really kind of watch Bitcoin. Uh, if you guys are trying to take a position on an altcoin, maybe you have some spare fiat and you want to buy something, I would wait a little bit and be a little bit patient for tomorrow possibly. Now, I do want to talk to you guys about some interesting things. So let's just jump in and let's talk about some HBAR stuff. So first off, I want to play you guys this video. So shout out to Parabolic HBAR for this video. Listen closely to this. What you want to do is start by saying, I'm going to build a search engine. And then eventually you become Alphabet. But you don't start as Alphabet. I guarantee you that our goal is to start with a search engine, but to end up being Alphabet. That's our goal. And I want to reiterate exactly what he said. You need to pay attention to HBAR because they are essentially building the building blocks of what they essentially will become. Okay, he's talking more so about Google, right? You know, they started with a search engine and boom, they flowed into pretty much everything. You know, we know that Google owns YouTube now. They own a ton of platforms in general and they have became a massive leading name. In fact, when we're talking about how big Hedera will become, considering how many markets it's already a part of, how many industries it's disrupting, I truly do believe that Hedera is going to be a blue chip stock. It's going to be a household name. I've always said Hedera is a household name. Not a lot of individuals knew about Amazon in the beginning stages, but guess what? I can guarantee you right now, almost nearly every individual alive knows what, who, and how huge Amazon is, how big Jeff Bezos is in general as a CEO, and how large of an impact Amazon has made. It's going to be the same thing with Hedera. It starts small, not a lot of people know about it, and a lot of people are giving it attention, and then all of a sudden, boom, the big fireworks go off, people finally realize how big it is. And we actually see this coming to fruition a little bit. Now, of course, you know, Block Nomaly or Block Nami, right? Whatever you want to call it, however you want to pronounce it, okay? Because I could already tell what the comments are going to be. They're going to be like, it's Block Nomi, it's Block... It doesn't matter. Tomato, tomato, whatever. The, the reason why I bring this up is because this is actually a fairly big overall you know, platform that is, you know, doing research and ranking these assets where they should be. Now, of course, yes, some of them are a little bit skeptical. They, But we do see some that I talk about, like Energy Web Token. Energy Web Token is fairly large. We know Chainlink is huge. Um, but we do see them ranking HBAR over DOT as number four out of the top 100 projects reviewed by them. This is actually fairly significant in my mind. The significance about this isn't the idea that, first off, we know that Hedera is number four on here or anything like that, but I believe that this is going to allow a lot of individuals to, you know, look up Hedera, see it on here, and really kind of see that, wow, okay, Hedera's ranked number four, uh, maybe I should do some research. Why, 
while they're doing research, why do you think that they're going to be buying? Well, because they're going to see a ton of things behind this project, like what they're building, you know, the partnerships that they have. It's going to be incredible. We do see partnerships are outstanding. Marketing and PR, outstanding. I would question this a little bit, just in general. Uniqueness, outstanding, 88% overall. Now, in general, if we were number four in this market, uh, we would be pretty significantly high in general for price per. We'd be at about $3.95, and that's not at the all-time high as of Binance Coin at all. You know, we know that like number four, you know, a few months back, you know, it was like over $100 billion in market cap. But in general, I think it's fairly significant to say the least that we are pretty much ranked above Polkadot because that would pretty much put us at almost $1.42 in general if we had the market cap of Polkadot. But I do think that this is pretty cool. I think that it's interesting. I think it's interesting to think about on where Hedera would actually stand if, you know, a lot of individuals kind of invested off of research alone and pretty much fundamentals instead of just throwing their money to the wind on assets like Solana or so. Uh, we know Solana goes down a lot in terms of its network. We know that's unstable in general. I'm not saying that to foot on it. I'm just saying in general, that's what we see. Um, but in general, in general, in general, right? <laughs> but overall, you know, we know that Hedera Hashgraph is going to be a leading name. Uh, we know that Hedera Hashgraph is building out this massive platform. You know, we, ha we have a huge ecosystem. And I actually want to talk to you guys about the ecosystem. So let's actually talk about one major use case from the overall use cases. We do see Yamgo, get paid for life, earn rewards, and get money like crypto assets for the things you already do. Now, Yamgo is actually pretty significant because we know that it's first off utilizing Hedera Hashgraph. We do see here, most of you may be familiar with the term blockchain, which is the data storage mechanism used by proof of work networks such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Blockchain is just one type of distributed ledger technology. I actually do like the fact that they're calling this Hashgraph instead of blockchain for once. We've seen that, you know, actually come up. I know that in most articles we see, you know, Hedera Hashgraph being mentioned as blockchain technology, which I always kind of cringe at a little bit. But we do see this is powering the service. All right. They're utilizing this because of the fast, fair, final uh, in terms of, you know, finality, secure, cheap and efficient. We know that it's a huge asset or I shouldn't say asset, but network in general that will pretty much be utilized by a lot of these major use cases that will provide a lot of value for the asset in general. And of course, I think that this is very cool because we do see her get paid for your daily online activity. It's free and easy. You could pretty much earn rewards by completing simple tasks like watching videos or playing games, doing your online shopping or browsing the web, you know, earn rewards for, you know, the things that you already do. And you can pretty much see all of them there, how it works. You know, this is something cool. Get free H bar rewards every day with Yamgo. I think that's really interesting. I think that this is a good way to kind of position yourself in the retail market as well. And we know that Yamgo... Uh, has been around since 2005. It's a UK-based technology company building a consumer-first rewards incentivization and fintech platform for advertising, media, retail, and beyond. It's very interesting. It's very cool. Um, I think that this could be you know, one of those major use cases that kind of bleeds us into the retail market. I think that's awesome to see stuff like this, small, big, whatever the ma case may be. Use cases matter. All of these you know, dApps that are built on Hedera are going to provide a lot of of value and a lot of transaction growth on the network as well and i'm very excited for that we also see here drop by pixel rug the new art gallery in hadera town nft artist is brandon uh was gone so i managed to leak out a few pictures to sell for hbar and of course we do see here observations from my tip don't marry privacy guru she's a shopaholic peekaboo barbarian is under the spotlight and we do see uh this is pretty interesting from the overall metaverse standpoint I believe when we're talking about, you know, the metaverse and we're talking about art galleries in general, I think that the art gallery, you know, when we're talking about, you know, we've even seen the NFT uh, platform that's pretty much building out, you know, an art gallery as well. I think that that's awesome to see. I think that when we're talking about NFTs, we've only seen the tip of the iceberg. We haven't seen NFTs at scale. We have to talk about them in general for a lot of other industries. Like for an example, we talk about, you know, even the use cases that it has in healthcare, we talk about the you know use cases that it has in law. There's so many use cases behind NFTs, but this is also very interesting. It's very cool. I think that's good for the retail market as well, and I think that it could provide a lot of value. Now we also see J.P. Morgan report crypto will be accepted by mainstream investors and companies in 2022. Blockchain interoperability, Ethereum blockchain, or new layer two initiatives 
are also some of the other bets for 2022. I believe that in this year, I think that we're going to see a lot of things uh, really take over from the overall spotlight of just you know Bitcoin and Ethereum. I think that we're going to see a lot of big news happen uh, around crypto. I think that we're going to see a lot of adoption happening for crypto in general. But I do think that this year is going to be a huge spotlight on a lot of assets, including Hedera. I think that Hedera is going to really take the wheel uh, when it comes to you know the metaverse, NFT stuff like that. I think that there's a lot of other you know assets that have not been in the spotlight that deserve to be i think right now a lot of the retail you know individuals that are jumping into crypto or even you know we're talking about institutional money too you know a lot of what they're seeing they're pretty much just looking at you know the top 10 they're not really caring about anything else uh we know solana has been a huge hit we know that you know ada has been a huge hit but there's so many other big names in the space that have just not been in the spotlight at all and we know in my mind, Web3 adoption is almost at, you know, the point of mass adoption. And we do know that for the mainstream Web3 social Galaxy app, we're seeing a little bit of a preview here. And this actually looks very cool. It almost looks like, you know, Twitter for Web3, except it's going to be a lot bigger than uh, than Twitter, in my opinion. I think that once we get into the idea on, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, Web3 mainstream adoption mass adoption in general i think galaxy is really going to be a big hit i think that a lot of these you know major decentralized uh you know pretty much social media outlets and social media websites are going to be huge um and i shouldn't even say websites just apps in general but i also think that when we're talking about web3 you know at scale i think that we're going to see things like twitter almost being decentralized i think that we're going to see you know new social medias come out and that could pretty much compete with the top tier, you know, main social media sites like Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. I'm actually fairly excited for that. And uh, we also see some interesting things uh, coming up with PayPal. Uh, for PayPal's use, a stablecoin would need a supported payments at scale and have security. And we do see HBAR bearings know Hedera. HBAR is the best choice for scalability and security. 100K transactions per second, ABFT. And we know that, you know, there is some connections with PayPal. Uh, we know that going back, you know, just a few months ago, we talked about a potential PayPal uh, partnership with Hedera as well. You know, I think that this could get pretty interesting. And we also talk more so about, you know, a lot of other adoption with Hedera too. We talk about Dovu. Uh, we're pleased to introduce uh, introduce Dovu staking. Any user will be able to earn Dove tokens and redeem them on the marketplace for carbon offset related needs. Best part about this is Dovu staking uses Hedera native service. This means you'll always have full control over your tokens and you won't risk losing them. You also benefit from ongoing auto compounding of your token value for every stake and reward, APY multipliers for duration of time and more. Uh, there has been so much work done in the Ethereum space in terms of staking and farming. We want to take that knowledge and apply it to Hedera, build it from scratch and make it mind meltingly amazing. Uh, what's next for Dovu? We'll be sharing more info on the coming weeks, but the future is bright. Find out more about the staking program in the full blog post here. I think that is awesome. Listen, I've said it multiple times. In fact, I've said it in this video alone. The more and more use cases that show up on this entire platform for Hedera, the more and more value that will be transacted on a day-to-day -day basis. All of these small, medium, big, you know, even large use cases, we're talking more so about service now and stuff, will provide immense amount of value and volume to the ecosystem and network in general which will obviously lead to price appreciation for hedera i am very excited for the future of this space and for hedera in general let me know what you guys think down in the description below or in the comments below sorry um but with that in mind i hope that you all enjoyed this video if you guys did definitely leave a like subscribe to notifications on if you guys want more free content you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord down in the description below as always up that you all have a beautiful day or beautiful night wherever you guys are in this video this has been nick Peace out, guys.